the Best Docs Network helps you find some of the best doctors utilizing the latest procedures and practices in healthcare. Actual patients and the doctors themselves walk you through their stories that together help you make the best decision in your search for the right doctor. On today's episode, vein specialist Dr. Peter Morgan talks about varicose veins. Craniofacial and plastic surgeon Dr. David Jenikov talks about his approach to facial rejuvenation with his patients. Interventional cardiologist Dr. Annie Varghese discusses the signs and symptoms for those with an irregular heartbeat. And doctors from Forest Park Medical Center utilizing the latest in technology and techniques. I was quite tired and I, I travel considerably and I would, at that time I would go through an airport and I'd have to stop and rest and, and so I realized that I needed to check uh, in with a doctor and see what was going on. So Mr. Richardson has cardiomyopathy, ischemic cardiomyopathy from coronary artery disease, um, multiple blockages that um, really weakened his heart over time and that's how I found him uh, many, many years ago, about 15 years ago pretty common that you neglect yourself, you think nothing's ever going to be wrong, but uh, I found out I had high blood pressure and I was border diabetic and, and uh, they did a CAT scan and, and uh, during that time they found out that I had a, an irregular heartbeat. So at, uh, at that time I was told to, I needed to go to uh, the emergency room and, and next thing I knew the, I was having a quadruple bypass. We were able to intervene on his uh, cardiovascular disease, coronaries, fix those, but what happened was the heart was so weak, so he ended up um, needing a device, uh, which is different than a pacemaker, it's the shock box. A defibrillator is put in under the skin, and again, like the pacemaker, the wires will go to the heart, but then this um, box is able to protect the patient, shock them, if the heart stops or if the heart goes into ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. Well, I'm able to uh, carry on my, my daily work duties and, and, and I can travel and, and I'm not so sure if I hadn't had this, this great care that I would have been able to do that at, at, at my age. I'm, I'm going on 71 and, and uh, still working every day so uh, I give Dr. Vargas lots and lots of credit that uh, she's, she's helped me sustain a, 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 a good life. Uh, he's been able to function normally, and it has actually improved the function of his heart. He can walk around, he's not short of breath, he can take care of his thousands of employees and uh, customers, and what a, what a blessing that's been for him. Start sprinkling your oatmeal with some cinnamon. Studies show that this antioxidant-rich spice may reduce blood pressure and lower stress. John had a common complaint of chronic knee pain with activity and walking. He was a little bit up in age, so he had time to wear out his knees. Uh, and he did so. He, he really enjoyed being the Santa Claus for the uh, holidays. So his goal was to go back to the mall and serve as Santa Claus for the kids. I am a professional Santa, and I was getting so that uh, I couldn't take the big malls because of the activity. And uh, so I chose to uh, use the smaller malls. The next Christmas, they said they, would, they had another Santa. My appointment was I wanted to do either a partial surgery or some shots. After talking to him and him showing me the x-rays, he just said outright that it would not work. Two, possibly three weeks later, I chose him to do the surgery. Knee replacements can be done at the same time. Both knees can be done in the same setting. Uh, some people elect to have them both done at the same time. Uh, some patients 
uh, we only have one done at a time. And with John, we did him staged because he elected to have one done at a time. The one that was bothering him the most, uh, he went ahead and had the surgery done for it. And then uh, after he served as the Santa Claus in that, that winter, that December, he uh, came back early spring and had the other side done. Uh, typical time frame is approximately six to eight weeks to recover from a knee replacement surgery. Patients are in the hospital typically two to three days, depending on how well they do with physical therapy right after surgery. I visited with John recently, and he is doing great. He's not having any problems with his knees, and he's happy. After the procedure, I can just get up without thinking about my knees. I uh, exercise doing all the things that they taught me in therapy. There's just no problem at all with my knees now. To learn more about Forest Park Medical Center and their doctors, go to bestdocsnetwork.com. Do you have missing teeth, need crowns, veneers, partials, dentures, or a full mouth reconstruction? Prostodontist Dr. David McFadden will give you back the youthful appearance and confidence you deserve. Backed by credibility and credentials, Dr. McFadden is cosmetically changing his patients' lives one smile at a time. Call today or log on to DignityDental.com. Dr. David McFadden, your go-to dentist in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I didn't feel good about myself and I never wanted to go anywhere. Now my world has opened up. I occasionally go out with my girlfriends and we have a great time together. I was getting older and didn't really care about my weight, but my doctor said I needed to do something immediately. Now I'm spending time with my grandchildren and every moment seems special. My one reason was to live life again. My one reason was to simply live. So what's your one reason? Barker Bariatric Center. Log on or call today for your consultation. Lisa has a question for Dr. Sharif. Does cancer spread through the air? That is a question that I always get asked by a lot of the family members, and honestly, it is an old wives tale. Cancer does not spread with contact to air. Ideally, cancer spreads either through the bloodstream or through the lymphatic channels. When a patient undergoes surgery, cancer, exposure of the cancer to air does not cause it to spread rapidly. I believe Typically, when you undergo surgery, majority of the time you can get more information than what you know prior to surgery. And at that situation, you might see the cancer to have already spread to different organs. And uh, this might be the reason why there's a misconception that taking a patient to surgery has led them to have increased spread of cancer. Ask our doctors on bestdocsnetwork.com. For numerous years I've had varicose veins. I'm a registered nurse and so I have been on my feet for 20 years and also heredity has played into that. And so just a lot of varicosities and um, some pain, aching if I've been standing on my feet for a long period of time and then just unsightliness. Varicose veins are a symptom. They're a sign of an underlying disease or abnormality in the venous circulation. In your legs, there is no heart to pump the used blood back up, and so the pumps are your muscles. And when the veins become too large and one-way check valves have failed, now all the pumping doesn't work and the blood pools in the legs, it creates high pressure, which results in bulging enlarged veins that we call varicose veins. My dermatologist recommended Dr. Morgan and he was very forthcoming with information. Um, it wasn't a lot of extraneous things that I didn't understand. It was very to the point, um, you know, exactly what he could do for me and um, what the benefits, what the side effects, and it gave me an opportunity to um, just weigh the pros and cons of whether I wanted to go, go forward. The treatment is to close all the veins that are running backwards. Any vein 
that is not pumping up out of the leg is only hurting, it doesn't help. And so by removing or closing those veins, you restore the circulation out of the legs back to normal. The procedure itself probably took 30 to 45 minutes. I was able to get up off the procedure table right afterwards and walk. I did have improvement in uh, cosmetically, which is a wonderful side benefit, but I also have decreased swelling, decreased aching. Really, it's, it's very minimal. She got a great result. Her swelling has uh, gone away completely. Her pain has gone away completely, and her varicose veins have gone away completely as well. Request an appointment on bestdocsnetwork.com. Deep breathing can help you relax, but that dose of oxygen will also make you feel happier and more alert. Practice this by taking deep breaths, sucking air in through your nose until your lungs are full. And we are excited to have in the Best Talks Network studio, Dr. David Genicove. He is the owner and director of the Genicove Plastic Surgery Group, one of the best plastic surgeons in the state of Texas and operates right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Dr. Genicove, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jim. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, if I come into your place, anyone else come into your place, they want to look younger. There's no doubt about it. So if you're consulting with an individual and they come in and say, hey, I want cosmetic, facial, plastic surgery. What do you do? Well, anybody that comes to the office is really kind of unhappy with something about themselves. And usually when they come in with an issue about their face, we get comments like, I now have my grandmother's neck, or you know, I look just like my dad, or I'm out there trying to get a job and I'm competing with people that are 20 years younger than me and I look 30 years older than them. How do I get back to a more competitive position? And so we start to talk to them. I talk to them about what their goals are. And so sometimes they think they just want surgery when in actuality they don't really need surgery at all. They could use some non-surgical uh, treatments with injections or uh, fillers or even some skin therapy. And those kinds of things will highlight some of the patients uh, just enough so it'll get them where they need to go. Additionally, if they do need surgery, we do a full physical examination and really try to find out what it is that is bothering them. And so it's that detailed conversation with the patient at the very beginning that helps guide what kind of treatment that they're going to get. Okay, now for an individual that comes into your practice and says, I just want to look better, what do you tell them? Well, I have them look in the mirror, and that's where it all starts. We put them in front of a mirror and say, what, did it, what is it that you see that you'd like to change? And so we address the eyes and the nose, the area around the mouth, and the jowl and the neck, and we look at each one of those, and then I begin to kind of move things around for them and show them what it looks like, what the options can be. To see the rest of this interview, as well as other outstanding videos, head to BestDocsNetwork.com. Coming up on the second half of today's show, bariatric surgeon Dr. Scott Stowers with My Bariatric Solutions changes his patient's life with a lap band procedure. ENT Dr. C.T. Wynn helps his patient find relief from constant sinus infections, headaches, and sinus pressure. Cosmetic dentist Dr. Guy Lewis talks about his philosophy and approach to practicing dentistry, as well as more doctors from Forest Park Medical Center utilizing the latest in technology and techniques. I've experienced in my past uh, excessive weight gain. I would diet, lose, gain, lose. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. Um, I didn't feel good, and the more I, uh, I gained, the less I felt um, confidence. Uh, I had made the choice that I needed to really make the decision to change my life, to get my health back on track. Charlotte had a lap band procedure, which was one of the most common procedures that we do. Uh, she's been very successful for her. Uh, she lost her predicted weight that she wanted to, and the several different medications she took, she doesn't take anymore. I decided to have the uh, bariatric lap band at My Bariatric Solutions. I have a lot more energy. 
I strive to do things that I wouldn't have before, experience some uh, exciting things on some of my travels. A band is put in laparoscopically through small incisions in the skin. We put the band around the top of the stomach and it's a balloon essentially. It has a port that goes up under the skin and we can put salt water in there to tighten the band up. That keeps the food in the top of the stomach and makes people feel not hungry with a small amount of food. It works like a long-term diet, only you feel full with small amounts of food. The most important part of a band patient doing well is frequent follow-ups and getting their band adjusted, especially early on. First six months, we will normally do about five adjustments until they learn how to use the band. After that, maybe one every six months, and then later on, maybe once a year. My experiences with Dr. Stowers and his staff is so easy. I arrive, I'm seen in a timely manner, in a professional manner, and people are so friendly and they treat me as a family. Each time is uh, very special and I look forward to uh, seeing the doctor. He's very friendly, very cordial, and very professional all at the same time. Find your doctor on bestdocsnetwork.com. I had the privilege of serving in the Air Force uh, for both my residency training and also uh, as active duty as a surgeon and was in for a total of 13 years. I had a particular interest in working uh, in heartburn surgery. Uh, this is a problem that affects a lot of Americans. 70% of us in any given year will have this problem, whether isolated incident or chronically. So it's a widespread disease that if left unchecked can lead to long-term consequences um, such as pre-malignancies and even cancer. If a patient is experiencing reflux, the first thing is to get in with a primary care physician. Once this has been diagnosed, there's a spectrum of treatments, some of them surgical, some of them non-surgical. The vast majority of patients don't require surgery and can be managed medically and with changes in their diet. For those individuals that elect to not take medication for the rest of their life and want a durable, permanent fix, surgery may present an option. In addition, for patients who have tried the medication and don't get relief, surgery may provide an alternative treatment uh, for their reflux disease. The range of cases that I was able to treat uh, while in the military spanned from the most simple, benign reflux cases to the most complex. And these would be patients that had maybe had reflux surgery done in the past, sometimes even two or three times, and still were symptomatic, and they required either revision of the surgery that had been done or a different operation. What a patient can expect after surgery is a mild amount of discomfort, which is well controlled, and to remain on a liquid diet for approximately two weeks. After that, there's essentially no dietary restrictions, and the patient can live a normal life, in the vast majority of cases, free of reflux disease. In the military, being a specialist in this disease process and having treated a large number of patients who've had complex uh, reflux disease, it gives me the competence and the experience to treat patients with the mildest forms of reflux up to the most complex. To learn more about Forest Park Medical Center and their doctors, go to bestdocsnetwork.com. Another reason to stay hydrated throughout the day is because your brain is composed of 75% water. Your brain will also begin shrinking a quarter percent in mass each year after the age of 30. My main symptoms before seeing Dr. Wynn were allergy and asthma I've suffered from my entire life, the sinus headaches. Um, were very bad right before my surgery. I would almost have a daily sinus pressure, headache so severe that um, occasionally I'd take migraine medication um, and even that wouldn't get rid of them. Emily is a nurse who came to see me because she can't breathe through her nose. She wants to find a permanent solution to her problem. As a nurse, she understands 
the uh, abuse of antibiotics. She, she wants to get away from this cycle and find a permanent solution to her problem. I came to Dr. Wynn because I saw his segment on best stocks um, one Sunday morning and I had researched his procedure so I came to him asking him to do the balloon plasty procedure. Um, however, he had a more cautious approach. He wanted to make sure we did all the appropriate um, testing and make sure that this was the right option for me. Emily is an appropriate candidate for the in-office balloon dilation procedure, a small in-office procedure to open up obstructed sinus drainage pathway. The procedure was done in my office. It took 45 minutes and Emily was able to get back to work the next day. The procedure was actually very easy. It was very nice not having to go under general anesthesia. The whole procedure took less than an hour. Um, Dr. Wynn and his assistant um, guided me through it. They were very helpful, they were very compassionate, um, and I found that it was a very comfortable procedure. It's so rewarding for me when patients like Emily uh, come back and tell me that after going through a small in-office procedure, she can breathe better and she can live better. She is more productive at work and she can spend a lot more quality time with her family. The way I feel now compared to before I saw Dr. Wynn is completely different. I feel energized. Seeing Dr. Wynn and having this procedure done has really been a game changer. I feel so much better. I'm getting a good night's sleep every night. I'm able to breathe and have the energy to do the things that I want to do. Sherry has a question for Dr. William Bannister. Could a herniated disc be causing pain in both of my legs? Usually a classic herniated disc causes pain unilaterally or in one leg because most of the time the disc chooses to herniate off to one side compressing on one nerve. People that come with bilateral leg pain often have a different problem and it's the same end result and that both sciatic nerves are pinched but it's their own thickening of their it's a thickening of their own joints that are compressing into the nerve or patients can have what we call lumbar stenosis where the entire nerve sac is pinched from our own bony ligament and, and joints have overgrown and then they get bilateral pain worse with walking the classic herniated disc actually usually comes out right right side or left side giving us by the time a disc herniates enough to create pain in both nerves they've got a bigger problem in terms of compression of the spinal sac and they will know ask our doctors on bestdocsnetwork.com Well, the spa dentistry concept is something that I am considered one of the pioneers in the spa dentistry field because I started doing this probably about 20 years ago. It feels like a high-end spa. It feels more um, aesthetically pleasing. One of the things we started with was just, you know, how the staff was dressed. A lot of them dressed, we dress in black, which is a little classier looking. When you walk in, you know, you can tell you're not in your typical dental office. I mean, most people are like, wow, this is unbelievable because it's, it's very nice. It's kind of like walking to someone's living room. The rooms that I treat patients in are more like suites. They're big rooms. They're not real closed in. They have couches in them so that family members or friends can come in and sit and be with them if they want to. But we also have TVs that are not only up in front of you where you can see them when you're sitting up in the chair, but we also have TVs in the ceiling so that when you're laying back in the chair, they're flat mounted large screen TV so you can watch TV, watch a movie, be relaxed, have your own headset, kind of go away, not have to hear all the sounds that are going on. We also have massage therapists that we could do foot massage or hand massage, hand paraffin treatments for ladies, especially guys like it too, but where they can dip their hands in the hot paraffin and, and get that done. Uh, just little touches that make it different, make it more of a relaxing experience. You know, most people equate going to the dentist like a trip to the dungeon, you know, and it just doesn't have to be like that. It can be nice, it can be comfortable. 
it can be actually relaxing. And uh, we have a lot of patients who tell us, you know, I love coming here and I love getting this done. It's no, it's no big deal. It's not like, you know, I heard my parents talking about, this is totally different. So we've done a lot of different things to try to make it different from just the norm and different from what everybody else is doing and make it special, make them feel at ease. is phenomenal from the top all the way down to the bottom. We care at every aspect, whether it's quality, compassion, patient satisfaction, and we don't stop till we make sure that our patients are taken care of. We have excellent staff, excellent doctors. Our nurses have all gone to do advanced certifications. The nursing staff here are experienced from one year to 40 years in terms of providing women's services care. So we pride ourselves on family-centered care. In the past 23 years since I've been a physician at Houston Northwest, the hospital has grown with the community. And we continue to perform well with respect to quality and it's a reflection of not only the physician's care but also the nursing care in the hospital. Our facility strives to be a leader in technology, which means that we want to be innovative and we want to provide the best care to our patients. That means the fastest care and getting you the service that you need. I'm really proud to be a part of Houston Northwest Medical Center and I know in the future that we'll continue to keep up with the highest, most innovative care. I'm very excited to see what the future will hold. I know that for this hospital, we're ever evolving and improving. Where we're headed at Houston Northwest, I think is as exciting as where we've been. First and foremost, we're gonna to continue to provide the highest quality of care that we can possibly provide. At Houston Northwest Medical Center, our story is your story. At Houston Northwest Medical Center, your story lives on. Watch more videos on bestdocsnetwork.com. Didn't find the doctor you're looking for on today's episode? Head to our website, bestdocsnetwork.com. There you can search our video library by topic, specialty, and doctor. The Best Docs Network, helping you find the right doctor and bringing medical education to you.